This is Jin Wu, a student at a prestigious academy called Donghun. Donghun Academy is renowned for producing the brightest minds. Among its students is Jin Wu, a humble and financially struggling young man walking a different path from the wealthy elites that filled the academy. The stark contrast made him feel like an outcast, a feeling that weighed heavily on his heart. Jin Wu's family circumstances were far from affluent, and he relied on a welfare program to support his education at Donghun Academy. It was a constant reminder of the privilege he lacked compared to his peers. Despite his academic determination, the social divide often left him isolated and unworthy. One night, he was caught sneaking food into the school by a grumpy security guard named Li Haksung. Though Jin Wu was spared expulsion, he was no longer allowed to stay in the school dorms and had nowhere to go. Feeling lost and with nowhere to turn, Jin Wu couldn't return to his mother, knowing the burden it would place on her already difficult life. In a brave move, he mustered the courage to approach Hak Sung and ask for a place to stay. To his surprise, the security guard, though grumbling, agreed to let him spend the night at his home. The next morning, Jin Wu woke up to find his difficult math homework completed. Baffled and intrigued, Jin Wu couldn't believe his eyes. He knew he hadn't completed the assignment, but who could have done it? He looked around the room, half expecting to find a mysterious benefactor. Then it dawned on him, only one person could have done this. Lee Hak Sung, the grumpy security guard who had taken him in for the night. With the completed math homework, Jin Wu walked into his classroom. As he handed his assignment to Mr. Kim, he noticed the surprise on his teacher's face. Mr. Kim had become concerned about Jin Wu's declining grades. He had suggested transferring to a regular school, fearing that Dong Hoon Academy's rigorous environment might be too much for him to handle. As Jin Wu's determination to improve his grades grew, he saw an opportunity in an unexpected place. Lee Hak Sung, the security guard known as the Kami officer due to rumors surrounding his past. Undeterred by the gossip circulating among the students, Jin Wu approached Hak Sung with a bold proposition. After classes one day, Jin Wu mustered his courage and spoke to Hak Sung about his struggles with advanced math. He explained how important it was for him to excel academically, and he believed that with Hak Sung's knowledge and guidance, he could overcome the hurdles in his path. At first, Hak Sung was taken aback by Jin Wu's request. He had always kept to himself, not expecting anyone to approach him, especially not for help with academics. The name, Call Me Officer, had created a wall of isolation around him, leaving him lonely and misunderstood. As Jin Wu persisted with sincerity and earnestness, Hak Sung's heart softened. He saw the determination and genuine desire in the young student's eyes, reminding him of the passion he once had for math. The memory of his struggles in North Korea resurfaced, when he was a brilliant math prodigy, but restricted by a regime that limited his freedom to learn and grow. Hak Sung's defection from North Korea had been covered in secrecy, partly to protect his teenage son, Tai Yon, who had defected with him. Tai Yon, however, had not taken well to the new life in South Korea and passed away, leaving Hak Sung heartbroken and withdrawn from the world. With Jin Wu's request, Hak Sung saw a glimmer of hope to reconnect with the subject he once loved. He agreed to teach Jin Wu advanced math, seeing this as a way to pay homage to his son's memory and find solace in imparting his knowledge to someone who shared his passion. However, he insisted that Jin Wu would only ask math-related questions. Jin Wu agreed, and Hak Sung began tutoring him in advanced math. He was an exceptional teacher, guiding Jin Wu with patience and precision. They often stayed up late into the night, working through complex equations and proofs, forging an unlikely but meaningful bond. As they delved deeper into mathematics, Hak Sung shared his experiences as a prodigy in North Korea, explaining how he had once proved an important math theory, but was confined by the oppressive regime. As Hak Sung took on the role of Jin Wu's stern mentor, their relationship followed a familiar pattern in various aspects of life, like martial arts, painting, sports, and music. Hak Sung's approach to teaching was philosophical, emphasizing the importance of understanding the underlying principles rather than solely seeking the correct solution. He encouraged Jin Wu to explore the reasons behind each mathematical concept, instilling a deeper appreciation for the subject. In their late-night study sessions and secret meetings, 
Jin Wu soaked up every word of wisdom Haksung offered. He grew eager and impatient at times, craving quick solutions to complex problems. However, Haksung gently reminded him that patience and perseverance were essential to truly grasp the beauty of mathematics. Through Haksung's guidance, Jin Wu began to see math not just as a subject, but as a form of art, an elegant dance of logic and reasoning. The lessons he learned from his unorthodox mentor extended beyond academia as he applied the same philosophical approach to other aspects of his life. Meanwhile, Jin Wu's academic transformation did not go unnoticed. Among his classmates was Bo Ram, a talented young woman from a wealthy family who was also on a welfare deal due to her mother's circumstances. Despite being divorced and financially well off, Bo Ram's mother pushed her daughter to quit playing the piano and focus solely on passing her math exams to support the family. Frustrated and resentful of the pressure imposed on her, Bo Ram began to rebel against her mother's expectations. She found solace in Jin Wu's company, drawn to his genuine and down-to-earth nature. They bonded over their shared struggles, connecting on a level beyond their different backgrounds. Hak Sung's true identity as a North Korean defector ignited a heated political issue when things were getting better. The revelation sent shockwaves through both the academic community and the broader public. As the news of Hak Sung's past spread, the North Korean government made a surprising claim, asserting that the South had kidnapped him. This accusation further complicated the situation, intensifying the scrutiny and media frenzy surrounding Hak Sung's life. For Hak Sung, coming to South Korea had been a quest for academic freedom and knowledge, seeking to leave behind the restrictive environment that had stifled his talents and aspirations in North Korea. However, his son Tai Yon faced a different reality. Bullied and persecuted at school due to his background, Tae Yon's difficult experiences impacted Hak Sung. He became hesitant to fully embrace his identity as a mathematician, fearing that doing so would draw attention to the painful memories from his past that he was not yet ready to confront. Hak Sung's internal struggle was torn between his desire for intellectual pursuit and his deep-rooted concerns for his son's well-being. His defection weighed heavily on him, and he grappled with the guilt of subjecting his son to the challenges they both faced in their new life. Amid political and personal turmoil, Hak Sung found solace in teaching mathematics to Jin Wu. Their mentor-student relationship became a source of strength for both of them, transcending the boundaries of their backgrounds. As Han Ji Wu grappled with whether to transfer to another school, Hak Sung adopted a thoughtful and philosophical approach. Rather than giving Ji Wu a direct answer, he encouraged him to reflect on his desires and ambitions, aligning with his belief that the process of solving a problem was often more important than the answer itself. Dong Hoon Academy's educational approach centered around the result theory, where students were primarily judged based on their ability to answer teachers' questions correctly. However, this standardized and rigid system left little room for independent thinking or critical analysis. In contrast, Hak Sung valued the importance of questioning, emphasizing that not all answers were correct, especially if the underlying question was flawed. He saw education as a way of cultivating curiosity, encouraging students like Ji Wu to think independently and challenge preconceived notions. The quote, In the wrong question, you can't find the right answer, embodied Hak Sung's life experience and understanding of the limitations of traditional education. It also exposed the shortcomings of Ji Wu's current school, which seemed to emphasize rote memorization and regurgitation of standardized answers, stifling creativity and critical thinking. Ji Wu's main teacher, in particular, viewed him as a poor student and pushed for his transfer to a regular high school. The teacher believed that Ji Wu's chances of success would be higher in a less competitive environment, where he could secure better grades, a good future, and a stable job. However, Hak Sung's influence and the bond he formed with Ji Wu proved transformative. The security guard's philosophy and belief in Ji Wu's potential ignited a spark within the young student. With Hak Sung's guidance, Ji Wu began to understand that education was not about conforming to standard answers, but exploring the depths of one's own understanding 
and creativity.